All right, here is a Edge Linux install on the T30 Dell server. I'm installing from the USB drive onto a fresh machine. So we would do USB storage. This machine has one terabyte hard drive and eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got a quad core processor. Initial test, everything's okay. Install Edge Linux, use DHCP. Tells me the address it's already got. Use the entire disk. Verify everything. And continue. This is my third server, so I'm on Edge Linux L3. Super secret password. I'm not doing anything with the uh, SSH identity, so I'll skip that, hit done, and the installation has started. As it installs, I can view the log and see how far along it's gone. This install process does take a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause while it's installing. Okay, as you can see, we're done. It says reboot now. <clears throat> the first time I did this, I pulled out the uh, memory stick and then pushed reboot now, and it didn't end well. The system never booted right. I'm not sure if that was my issue or something else, but when you push enter and it shuts down, it says, please remove the installation medium. And that's when you should remove it. So I've removed it and push enter. And it certainly looks like it's about to load. So that really completes the installation. Edge Linux 02 up right now. We're going to log into Edge Linux 03. So here's the first login screen. I use the user account I used during the installation. Same password. And here is your raw interface. Click on Manage Templates. And all we have is a Debian LCX and a blank. You can use the blank to install any operating system you like. I'll also install Ubuntu, Windows 10, and we'll do CentOS. The interface will show me my IP address, the RAM, hard drive space, and my processor usage. I'll click Create Ansel. We'll go ahead and create a container. Give it a name. I'll go ahead and use 3 gigs of RAM. Now let's use 4. You probably don't need 4 gigs of RAM for most of your projects, but I'll just give it plenty for for testing's sake. So it comes up, it tells you how to shell into it and how to RDP if it's Windows. Here's our test machine. I'll click Start. The processor's going to go up a little bit here as the machine boots. It's got a built-in terminal. This is going to use my Ansel login. Or my Edge Linux login, rather. Same as I logged into the interface. And then from here, I should be able to log into that server, which should be 10.10.10, .10 I believe. And I... I don't have a password, so I'm going to have to break out of that and do root at 10.1.10 .10. and the default password is Ansel. Now I'm in here clicking on updates. So updates are done. Then we can upgrade to the latest. Go ahead and do that. Now I also use a program called MobaX term. But in order to log into the server, I need a IP address that's not private to the Ansel. 
So my network's a 172.24.1.x network. And I need to go ahead and add a card, interface card to the server for that network. Okay, the upgrade is done. So I'm going to do a shutdown minus H now. And that should shut the machine off. So it has stopped. We'll click on the name. And under virtual networks, we're going to create a new virtual NIC. We're going to use virtual IO to create NIC. And then it gives us a hint of where to modify our network interface information. We're going to log back into the edge terminal. And log back into my outlet and add user. Password is all good. Well, perhaps I had that wrong. One ninety four, not one ninety eight. So indeed, I I had it wrong. One seventy two dot twenty four dot one dot one ninety four. Specify my username. Push enter. And we're being prompted for my username. Best one. So I'm now in, and it doesn't look like I have uh, exploring turned on, so we can't do anything neat with that. But once I'm in, I can then root using the Hansel password here, and I'm now root. And that's pretty much full installation and bringing up a, uh, a single container Hansel. Outlet. So now let's create a KVM. We downloaded a few. We'll do the Ubuntu and we'll call it uh, Ubuntu Test. We'll go ahead and give it two cores as well, or two megs of RAM, two cores. It's IP11. Create. Within seconds, we have it up and running. Not going to start it. First, we're going to go add our virtual network adapter. Again, if it was a Windows PC, we would do this uh, E1000, but since it's Linux, we can use virtual I.O. Create it. it. Tells us how to set it up. Now, since this is a KVM, we have access to a VNC window. Can't actually VNC, but you can use this nice web interface. Password for root's gonna be Ansel again. thing I want to do is go and set up my network interface so I can access it from my home network. We do two yank ink, shift A go to the end, put a few lines in, put that in place with a P. What was that? 
Oops, I forgot to change it. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. Get that ID, you do LSPCI, and number seven says uh, USB controller. No, it says unclassified device, virtual memory balloon. Uh, number eight. Oops. My memory obviously isn't as good as it used to be. PCI, verify that looks right, reboot. We now have a 108. Add a user. Okay, so we can now log in as Wayne. Back to mobile term, add a new shell. When I logged in, we have Xfolding turned on. The Sun Colic application just shows you uh, basically where the sun is on the planet Earth on a map. It's an X11 app, so once we have this running, I we'll have to log in as Wayne because you have to be the right user to forward. So there's Sun Clock loading, and a little window popped up over here. And there's our sun clock. So now we can use this X11 app, which is actually running on the server, but it's showing up on the Windows PC thanks to Mobile Term. So this is what Edge Linux with Ansel OS, or rather uh, Edge Linux OS with Antman Manager looks like and can do. Uh, we can also install NetBeans and run NetBeans from it. Um, running X11 on your PC is not the most secure thing, but if, if you're doing it on a local network and your local network's secure, um, there's really not much to worry about. Here's Lin City. It's a sim simulator for um, <coughs> X Windows for Sim City. There it is, running on the PC, but actually running on the uh, VM client. And this is why I kind of enjoy the Ansels and the Edge Linux. It gives you the ability to to use these VMs and run these applications without having to keep a bunch of desktops around.